Automotive industry is one of the applications for additive manufacturing technologies. Uh, recent advances in the additive manufacturing have opened doors for more robust designs, lighter, stronger, and safer products, reducing lead time, reducing costs. 2015, uh, the annual Waller's report said that the automotive industry accounted for 16.1% for all the additive manufacturing expenditures. The automotive original equipment manufacturers and suppliers use primarily the AM for rapid prototyping and uh, the, te the, the technical trajectory of the additive manufacturing make a strong case for its use in product innovation and direct manufacturing in the future. So that the uh, additive manufacturing and automotive industry you're using for communication designs in the, in the automotive industry uh, begin in a scale models showcasing the form of the vehicle. They are usually used for aerodynamic testing, SLA and material jetting used to produce high detail smooth uh, scale models of automotive designs. Uh, for the validation, prototyping with the AM is a common thing in the automotive industry now. Uh, if you want full size wing mirror printed quickly with uh, low cost of DM to a high detail. You can go with the additive manufacturing. It can give you full color dashboard and there is an additive manufacturing technology suited uh, for every prototyping needs. Some of these technologies engineering materials allow for full testing and validation of prototype performance. For the pre-production, um, it's been the most disruptive in uh, in the production of uh, low cost rapid tooling for injection molding and the thermoforming and the jig and fixtures within the automotive industry. Um, this allow for tooling to be quickly manufacturing, uh, man manufactured at low cost and used to produce low to medium runs of parts. The validation mitigates the risk when investing in high cost tooling at the production stage. For production, production volumes in the automotive industry are very high like 100,000 parts per year, then AM is dominating uh, as a prototyping solution rather than for end part manufacturing. Uh, it improve for improving the size of the industry printers, the speed they're able to print at uh, uh, the materials that are available mean that the AM is now viable option for many medium sized production runs. In terms of customization, uh, you have a significant impact, significant impact on the competitive automotive industry when the cost of highly complex one-off component is justified by substantial improvements in vehicle performance. We can see here side mirror printed in the automotive industry using a 3D printing technologies. Now with the automotive manufacturing requirements, as we mentioned before, we continue on the weight for final parts, it is a critical aspect relating to the automotive industry. Um, then the weight reduction of the components is important in that case. Automotive applications uh, use advanced engineering materials and complex geometries uh, to reduce the weight and improve performance. AM is able to produce parts from many of the lightweight polymers and metals that are common in the automotive industry. For complex geometries, prototypes, and final parts, uh, affecting the weight and aerodynamics and vehicle performance, of course, uh, that is the geometry of the part. The automotive parts require internal channels for conformal cooling, hidden features, thin walls, fine meshes, and complex curved surfaces. The AM allow for manufacturers to do highly complex structures that are extremely light and stable giving you high degree of design freedom, optimization, and integration of functional features, then manufacturing small patch sizes with a reasonable amount of cost at a high degree of product customization in uh, serial production even. Temperature, testing, and final parts. Um, automotive applications uh, need significant uh, heat deflection minimums in most cases. There are several processes that offer material that can withstand uh, high temperatures above 105 degrees Celsius, uh, sustained engine compartment temperatures, and uh, the SLS nylon 
as well as some photo cured polymers are very good for high temperature applications as we discussed previously in our lectures. The moisture testing and final parts most components that are going to the production of automobiles must be moisture resistant, if not moisture proof entirely. So the benefit of the AM is that all printed parts can be post processed in order to create water tight and moisture resistant barriers. Um, many materials by their nature are suited for humidity and moisture um, resistance environment. Part consolidation, prototyping and final parts. The items in an assembly can be reduced by designing as a single complex component. Part consolidation is a significant factor if considering how the AM can benefit reduction of material usage. So reducing weight in the long run and cost. Uh, it reduces inventory and means that assemblies can be replaced with a single part should um, uh, repairs that should be used for repairs or maintenance need to take place. So part consolidation reduce inventory and means that assemblies can be replaced with a single uh, part repair or maintenance. Now material suiting automotive applications we have the under the hood applications the process SLS material nylon Features heat resistance, functional parts, battery cover, as example. Interior accessories, you have SLA technology, material go with resin. You can give you customized cosmetic components, example, console or prototype. Air duct SLS process, material is nylon, flexible ducting and billows as a feature. Example, parts, air conditioning, ducting. Full scale panels, industrial SLA, can go with resin material. Give you large parts with surface finish comparable to injection molding allowing for sanding and painting you can use that for front bumper of the car cast metal brackets and handles the process is sla and cast material is wax metal parts made from 3d printed patterns as a feature you can do it for alternator uh, mounting bracket complex metal components you can go with dmls material is metal um, features consolidated lightweight functional metal parts example suspension wishbone the bezels can go with material jetting technology uh, photopolymer material and use custom screen bezels can be uh, used as a feature you can use that for creating dashboard interface for lights, you can go with the SLA technology. You can use the resin material. It is fully transparent, high detail models. You can use it for headlight prototypes. So we can see here complex ducting that's been uh, generated using 3D printing. Uh, high detail visual prototypes. You can use it for the cluster and uh, the uh, user compartment or the driver compartment uh, auxiliaries. So you can use these covers, the brown cover we can see here, or even the cover holding around it is uh, made through the 3D printing. Functional mounting brackets, we can see here the alternator is here and we can see the mounting bracket is 3D printed and used to mount the alternator on the vehicle body. 3D printing injection molds. Injection molding is a common method for mass production of plastic parts. It is good for produ producing rapidly very large number of identical parts with a tight tolerance. Uh, previously, the 3D printing was used in design and manufacturing process to only create and verify prototypes that later will be injection molded. These days, um, um, since we have uh, an accurate printing technologies and surface finish, um, materials that allow 3D printers uh, to be and the materials that allow 3D printers to be efficient. And uh, we are recently using 3D printing technology to directly manufacture the molds. What is injection molding? Uh, process of creating components by injection under, by injecting under the pressure melted material into a die so that we create our final part. Material fills the hollow cavities of the mold and when it cools, it, gets, it becomes solid. 
uh, it will be in a form of a die the die open later and the solid part is ejected and the process will go on and on in repetition uh, the, the automation of the process can give you high production rates the materials commonly used in injection modeling uh, in injection molding are the thermoplastic polymers but it is possible to mold certain thermo uh, setting plastics the high initial setup costs with the injection modeling make the, the technology cost effective at high volume only uh, these costs can range between 10,000 to 100,000 uh, it's a very high requirements in designing engineering and manufacturing for the injection molding dies uh, so uh, injection molding is used only to produce very high volumes of identical parts at low cost typical run can involve the production of thousands or sometimes millions of components low run injection um, molding applies to runs of 10 up to 100 parts uh, such small runs uh, they are not financially feasible due to the very high cost associated with manufacturing the tooling which is the injection molding dies uh, why we use 3d printing for injection molding um, we need to consider if the mold is going to be used to make 20 or 20,000 parts in the past molds needed to be CNC machined to a high tolerance from the metal uh, commonly used materials aluminum and steel these materials give good wear resistance to the repeat injection opening and closing of the mold and the temperature gradients that are exposed during the injection molding process but metal molds require initial large investment at the setup stage if you are going with low run molding, wear resistance is not the most critical factor. Uh, certain 3D printing technologies like the metal jitting and SLA, they can produce parts at high accuracy with excellent surface finish. Uh, if it is coupled with the modern temperature resistant 3D printing materials and design freedom 3D printing enables, then the 3D printed molds are now available option for manufacturing low run injection molding dies. Uh, 3d printed molds give you quick verification of the mold design and uh, mitigating the final risk of investing in expensive metal molds so 3d printed molds are best suited for fast turnaround times like one to two weeks opposed to five to seven weeks applications where production uh, quantities are low 50 to 100 parts mold designs where changes or iterations are probable parts that are relatively small less than 150 millimeters for the mold configuration mold inserts in aluminum frames uh, it is a most common 3d printed mold configuration and generally produce accurate parts the mold is 3d printed then inserted into a rigid aluminum frame uh, providing support against the pressure and heat of the injection molding nozzle aluminum frames help preventing the mold from warping after repeated usage Mold insert in aluminum frame are shown in here. So these are mold inserts in aluminum frame. Uh, 3D printing material is suitable for creating injection molds if it has high temperature resistance. A high heat deflection temperature is required to withstand mechanical and thermal loads applied to the mold during the material injection. Um, it's important to note that the temperature decreases rapidly during solidifications. Then high stiffness or toughness, uh, removing the part and putting it back repeatedly, uh, repeatedly will, will cause wear to the mold. So the material with high stiffness required to maintain mold accuracy over time. High level of details, uh, this, this is an important requirement for injection molds that you need to have high dimension accuracy and smooth surface. Um, High accurate, highly accurate molds will produce highly accurate parts, of course. The three printing technologies that cover best of these requirements are SLA and material jetting. That's to keep in mind. These technologies can produce parts that have high dimension accuracy, ideal for print intricate details and very fine features. The specialty materials that are available in these technologies, like the Formlabs High Temperature Resin or the Stratasys Digital ABS, they are ideal for molding and tooling applications. These are two materials created using that uh, technology combination. 
Now let's talk let's talk about an overview of what we mentioned before the property heat deflection temperature form lapse high temperature resin can handle 289 degrees Celsius at 0.45 uh, megapascal pressure strata assist digital ABS can go 92 to 95 degrees C at 0.45 megapascal flexural modulus uh, uh, for the form lapse 3.3 gigapascal uh, for the strata system digital ABS 1.7 to 2.2 gigapascal for the impact strength 14 joule per meter for the strata system 65 up to 80 joule per meter the lowest layer height or resolution 25 uh, to 50 microns for the high temperature resin 16 to 30 microns for the ABS minimum detail size 0.2 millimeters for the resin and 0.2 millimeters for the ABS for the mold design there's a list of uh, some good practices that should be followed if you want to design a 3d printed mold so firstly when you're designing the mold for SLA printing make sure that the inner faces of the mold are oriented uh, so that the no support is in contact with them it will improve the surface quality and no support marks were present on the surface which will minimize the required post-processing uh, if the 3d printing mold is used for more than 20 runs then keep in mind to include channels in the design for embedding metal uh, rods or tubes these can help to reinforce the mold and reduce the warpage and improve the cooling times 3d printing the mold at lower layer height that can help produce smoother molded parts as the molds will have less visible print lines. Embossed and engraved details should be offset from the surface by at least one millimeter to show up. Um, um, similar to with conventional injection molds, designers should consider adding a draft angle of minimum two degrees uh, to aid in the removal of the part from the mold. Uh, maintaining a uniform wall thickness across the entire part keeping all parts and features as thin as possible, include radii on all edges and corners and fillets, including thin ribs and gussets to add strength to a part rather than increasing the wall thickness. We can see here uh, a mold with 9 degrees, 2 degrees draft, optimal condition 2 degrees draft and a fillet. Reducing the flash. Flash is a name given for material that come between the two halves of the mold during the injection process uh, it occurs if two molds halves do not meet uh, perfectly together or mate perfectly together so uh, they are not perfectly flush and flat or the mold is overfilled runners are used in the mold design so that they help, help to reduce the likelihood of flash uh, if you're designing for aluminum frame add 0.125 millimeter of extra thickness to the back of the mold place to account for compression forces and ensure complete seal. Increasing clamping forces in the vise can help mitigate flash as can polishing the mold's split plane to give it as flat uh, surface as possible. Releasing compound. Uh, materials used in 3D printing are usually fragile. Uh, Compared to traditional molds, applying excessive force to remove parts from the mold can lead to rapid mold uh, uh, breakage or deterioration. Um, include a release compound on the surface of the mold cavity before the injection stage will assist you in, in uh, uh, removing the part from his place. General rules for designing for 3D printing injection molds. 3D printing injection molds our most cost effective way for low run injection molding material jetting and SLA are the most suited technologies for 3D printing injection molds you keep the part volume lower than 165 cm3 each 3D printing mold can be used for approximately 30 up to 100 runs depending on material being injected in the mold